Well, today, after decades of planning and fundraising, Hamilton's new skate park is open. Organizers are calling it the largest skating area in the state at 13,000 square feet. MTN's Katie Miller takes us to the excitement of the first day. Skate or die. Circle 13 Skate Park in Hamilton is finally up and running after 25 years of planning. Board President Brian Dufresne says years ago, the only way kids could skate legally and safely was to go to a park out of town. They get to have a sense of community. I mean, it's a group of kids coming together, form friendships. The social aspect is powerful. It's just a long time in coming. Two years ago, voters approved a bond to purchase the land at Claudia Driscoll Park. And with the help of donations and sponsors, the facility is finally a reality. Pearl Jam guitarist Jeff Allman has helped build 20 skate parks in Montana. I feel lucky to, to be in the position that I'm in, and I'm a Montana kid. I grew up in Montana, and uh, there's really honestly nothing more exciting than putting skate parks in towns, especially the smaller the town, the better. He discovered a love for skating visiting California and says he's excited to bring that back to his home state. A local assisted living home also contributed donations. These kids are going to be the future of our country, so it's a great cause and we wanted to be involved and try to help make safe places for kids to come and skate and play. Skaters of all ages are stoked for the new park. It's been a long, long process, but to see all the kids out there having a blast makes it all worth it. For the past 10 years or so, ahmed has been putting half of his earnings from the band into a foundation for building skate parks. They build about five skate parks across the state every year, and Ahmed says they're not done yet. In Hamilton, Katie Miller, MTN News. Skaters say before Circle 13th, the closest parks were in Victor and Missoula. I am feeling